May kinaman. Oh. And good afternoon po sa inyo lahat. Ayan. Meron din tayo from Florida Elementary School. Ayan. Again, nag-start na po ang live streaming ng ating um, webinar, free webinar session 3 sa ating, uh, sa ating YouTube channel. I suggest everyone, yung mga kaibigan natin hindi nakapasok po sa ating Zoom meeting, advise them to uh, watch the YouTube channel instead so that they can still participate in the evaluation la later. Ask them as well to um, post the selfies and share, of course, um, yung live streaming po natin para mas 100% uh, assured po tayo na makakatanggap po tayo ng certificate of participation sa ating pong free webinar series. Kaya marami pong salamat. Ayan. From Don Bosco High School, Ifugao. Good afternoon po. From Aurora. From Maria Aurora Central School. Hello po, mga kaibigan namin dyan. Ayan. Um, in... Two to three minutes, start na po tayo with our um, session. The Manpudso Elementary School. Wow. From Don Bosco High School, Ifugao. Hello po. Hello po sa new promoted na school head na kaibigan ko sa Ifugao Province, uh, Sir Sherwin Luglug. Congratulations po for being promoted as newly um, school head. O, hindi ko alam po kung anong part ng Ifugao pero uh, uh, kay install niya kahapon I think as the new school head of a certain ele elementary school in Ifugao Province. Congratulations my friend. From Florida again, elementary school. Hello po. From Don Bosco High School again. From Mungia National High School. Um, I believe this is Nueva Vizcaya. Ay, Ifugao pala. Kasi, hindi meron din kayo. Pupax del Norte po. Pupax del Norte. Thank you so much, Sir Ferd. Buti po si Sir Ferd na nasa Aurora. Mas kabisado niya ang mga schools dito sa amin. Hello, Sir, in Mungia. Ayan. From Mijares National High School, good afternoon po. Hello daw sa mabait at poging coordinator. Wow, si Sir Fern Philip. I believe this is from Aurora, of course. Pogi talaga, hindi ba maganda? Etos. Doon din, um, uh, greet ko lang din po yung mga nasa YouTube uh, channel. Meron na po tayong 2,000 viewers. Wow! We have, uh, mukhang hindi ko mabasa Sir Oliver, maliliit. 
Sir Fern, start na ba ito? Magpakiaas po si Dr. Arnel. Yes po, yes po. Start na daw po. Okay, fine. All right. A glorious day to each and everyone. Again, welcome to the third session of the APFT Free Webinar Series 2021. This afternoon, we'll be having um, one of our um, friends, very intelligent friends, a friend from Aurora um, Province, Wasayan University, as our resource speaker. But before that, we'd like to take this opportunity to give our unending of um, unending um, gratitude to our um, CEO and President of Asia Pacific Association of Educators Training Institute, the very beautiful and witty Dr. Raquel B. Bernabe. And of course, our director for um, for research, Dr. Arnel and Dr. Adrian. Thank you so much for the technical assistance you've been provided for Team Two and Team Three. Okay, let me just, of course, remind our participants for this afternoon of the following house rules: You are encouraged to rename your. Um, your interface with the following, as much as possible, you have to put your city or your municipality together with your last name and first name. Keep your microphone muted, of course. Turn your camera off. And if necessary, um, please use background that are not distracting. Be polite in purchase. If you have some questions later on, um, you may um, raise your hands and unmute your um, mic but wait for you to be acknowledged um, by the moderator. Type your questions in our uh, chat box. Should you want to use your mic, please wait for the moderator to acknowledge as what I've said a while back. Once called, briefly identify yourself and from where you are and your uh, designation if you want and briefly um, state your queries or questions or suggestions for that matter. Reminders, questions will be entertained at the end of the speaker's discussion during our uh, open forum or question and answer portion. Evaluation shall be posted at the end of the webinar via chat box, Apathis Facebook, and in the YouTube channel. By joining this event, of course, you are agreeing to, be, um, to participate in the webinar as it will be recorded and will be live streamed in Apathis YouTube channel. Good afternoon again, ladies and gentlemen. Before we start, let's have one of my teammates, Ma'am Evelyn A. Pirut, teacher three of Muta Elementary School, Casibu, Nueva Vizcaya, for opening prayer. Mom Eve, you are muted po. Let us bow our head and let us pray. Dear God, we glorify you for all to meet and share our knowledge and time with one another. May you send forth your divine wisdom to our speaker as he will impart effectively his God-given gift to all of us. May he be blessed as he continues to share his expertise to all of us. Bless the Hula Paiti family through the leadership of Dr. Raquel Di Bernabe, the CEO, with his with her teammates, Dr. Arnold Ganzula and Dr. Adrian. Bless the participants and bless us as we, the team, make this webinar. May you send forth your Holy Spirit so that after this webinar, we may share that we, what we have learned in, this, in the spirit of your love and generosity, especially during these crying times. May we be able to bring glory to you, Lord God, in everything that we do. 
Amen. Thank you so much, Ma'am Eve. Again, naimbag nga malim, kada tayo amen. Diyos taaw, si Kota Maminan. Mapod ani long, si Kota Mamin. Pehed ni Magilaw sa kanya. Magandang, 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 magandang tanghali po sa ating lahat. Good afternoon, everyone. Ayan. Alam ko pong napaka-excited po natin ngayon dahil napakaganda po ng ating uh, tatalakayin sa araw na ito. Pero bago ito po tayo magpatuloy dyan, nais ko po munang tawagin ang ating pinakapipitagang CEO at President, ang napakagandang si Dr. Raquel D. Bernabin para po sa kanyang um, opening message. Take it away, Dr. Raquel. Okay, so thank you very much. Sir uh, Nick Rojas, ang napakasipag na coordinator sa Nueva Vizcaya. Okay, so um, thank you very much also to all participants of this uh, pre-webinar session. So this pre-webinar series is an initiative of, of course, Asia-Pacific Association of Educators Training Institute, which aims to provide educators an opportunity to strengthen teacher collaboration and support and deepen their knowledge and broaden their, na, and broaden their understanding on instructional techniques and of course, best practices, especially pedagogical approach and concepts. And of course, an approaches in the COVID era of digital learning through the sharing of best classroom practices from all members of the Asia Pacific Association of Educators Training Institute and invited speakers. So thank you very much for your time in this uh, pre-webinar pre series. And of course, thank you very much also to the team three. So enjoy our training for today. And uh, back to you, Sir Nick. Marami po salamat, Dr. Raquel. Ayan, as what mentioned by Dr. Okel, you will not be only a listening to um, the session of Sir Pili, but you will be all, all, also be updated of the APETIS um, series of activities as well. Before we um, continue or before we go to our main topic for this afternoon, I actually have um, prepared um, two to three minute game for you guys Ayan, para naman uh, ma-break yung monotony. This is actually um, what I coined as name the icon. So this is based from the Google Suit Ayan, or Google Workspace. There are a lot of course of icons uh, used in uh, Google Suit but I only have chosen 10. I want you guys to name the icon in two to three seconds Chat in your answers in our chat box. Ayan. Um, Nag-promise po si Dr. Um, Arnel Charot na magbibigay po siya ng, ng prizes sa mga mga uunang sasagot po ng ating mga, uh, ng ating games. Sampu po actually ito. So sampung winners din po ang ating bibigyan ng special prizes later on. Right? Let's start with the first icon. Name the icon. Ma'am Evelyn, please help me in identifying the winners, please. Yes, sir. I do. Thank you so much. It's the Google Drive. I have. Next icon. What do you call this icon? It's a Google Classroom. Very good. That's coming from Romel Yata. Na, hindi ko na MS, po nakita MS, yung... MS. <laughs> okay. How about this one? Google MS Teams? Google it's Make it. Google. it. Very good. Galing. Galing. Ang bilis ng kama. How about Kaya this na, one? Sir. What's that? Ang tawag natin dito. Zoom. Zoom. Hi. Oh, Zoom. Zoom. <coughs> it's, po. it's Zoom. It's actually um, the same Zoom. However, yung Zoom, yung Zoom na ginagamit natin ngayon, magmarami siyang uh, features than the Duo. Yeah. Sir, 
Excuse me, sir. May I request uh, the participant na nag-answer to please open their camera po for them to be acknowledged. Um, Yan. Thank you. Pakilista na lang po yung name nila, um, Ma'am Evelyn, para mas mabilis po tayo. Okay? Thank you so much. Next po. What do you call this icon? Profile. <laughs> it's not the profile, my dear. Google contacts. Yes, very good. It's the contacts. Next icon. Ano po ang tawag natin sa icon na ito? Photos. Photos, yes. Wow. Yeah, mas mabilis yung pananalita syempre kaysa sa pag-type in. How about this one? Gmail. 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 Ayan. Very nice, Madam Evangeline, Sir Peter. Ayan na ulit si Sir Peter. How about this one? Hangout. Hangout. Message. Hangout. Na una si Madam Marisa. Um, yung po yung nasa interface natin ng ating um, cellphone, parang parehas sa so, uh, Mel Jovinar. Ayan, friend po namin from Manila. <laughs> How about this one? Documents. Google Docs. This one. Google Documents. Good. Uh, from Ayan. It's a dog. Yan, kung medyo um, fed up or medyo mar marami na po kayong um, docs or data from your lapi, you can transfer those in the docs in the G suits. Yan. How about this one? Microsoft Excel. Excel. Nakarami na si Sir Alfred. <laughs> Marami din daw sumasagot sa YouTube. Yes, sir. Post Tapos sila. dito sa chat din po. Oh, wow. I believe this is the last icon. How, what do you call this icon? <laughs> Google Classroom? <laughs> no. Tapos na po tayo sa Google Classroom kanina po. Google Form. Google form, hindi din po. It's the news. Very good. May, akala ko walang makakakuha. Cecilia Padua. Yan. So if you wanted to know updates um, from our society and any um, any uh, news for that matter, just go to the news. Ayan. So, thank you so much, our dear participants, for actively participating in our motivational game. Maraming maraming salamat po. Ayan, so let me introduce to you our able speaker for this afternoon. He is an assistant professor and the language coordinator of education and higher education for Wesleyan University Aurora Extension Campus. He is currently um, taking his master's in designing education in Mayan College in collaboration with Goldsmith University in London. Having earned, of course, units in Master of Education, English and Educational Leadership and Supervision in Wesleyan University, Philippines, Cabaret One City. Um, some of her meritorious awards are as follows. Distinguished educator in the development of students in 2020. That's in December 20, 2020, um, from International Educators Summit and Awards online. Outstanding high school teacher 2021, and at the same time, outstanding school paper advisor 2020 of the APETI Training Institute or APETI um, Guru Excellence Award last January 2021 in Cavite. He's also an acclaimed international research presenter. Um, just recently, he presented the, one of his um, research in Aikada Nida in Thailand through online. Award-winning trainer and advisor and coach for campus journalism, sports, 
literary and musical and performing arts, and of course, perennial speakers or speaker in campus journalism, educational innovations, and leadership. I give um, co teachers or co educators, let's give a hand to Ferdinand Balata Pili Jr. of Wesleyan of Extension Campus. Take it away, sir. Yes, sir. Nakita po ba yung screen ko po? Uh, hello? Yes, ang hindi na po, sir. So, uh, to Dr. Raquel Bernabe, the CEO and President of the Abayiri, and to Dr. Arnel Gonzola, the Director for Professional Development, to Dr. Adrian Carvajal, Director for Research and Publication, to my fellow Abayiri members, our Session 3 team, and most especially to our almost 600 registered participants. So, good afternoon, everybody. So, it is indeed my... Uh, uh, Great honor. It is a great honor and privilege to be speaking about the best school practices. So as I attest myself with the academy for almost eight years, um, mingling within the diverse culture and context, I now gradually realize the value of educators that as we grow older in the system, um, we experience firsthand the various conditions which test our critical thinking and decision-making skills. And this afternoon, I will be uh, telling you how I dealt with similar conditions without compromising, of course, the promises I Welcome to the MADS. Uh, this is um, missing, annoying, and disappointing. This is an approach in understanding the learning and for innovations in the new normal. So this is just a disclaimer, Anupa, don't get me wrong. The MAD approach is not an original concept. I encountered this approach in one of my classes under the Master's in Designing Education. This is a multidisciplinary program. So basically, this is an adaptation from Dr. Aaron Palileo, the founder of the Creative Intelligence Associates, um, Bootleg Manila. This is a customer-centered and creatively-based firm that helps clients innovate their products, their brands, and their organizations. So with this approach, they do this by finding deep consumer insights, um, discovering clients' core DNA, and developing creative and innovative concepts and solutions. So thank you, Dr. Aaron Palileo and the CIA Bootleg Manila for allowing me to use this um, approach. But I have prepared here four for uh, training menus, okay? The first one is the concept. So what is it? What is MAD? Who uses it? Two, is it's worth? Why is it being used? What are its possible impacts in the innovations? Okay, number three, we have here the procedures. So basically, we're trying to answer what are the steps and how is it done? And number four, I have prepared sample application where I, uh, I and my colleagues in West Ian University, okay, um, where we use this MADS, okay, uh, when or where to use it and was it used before? Of course, yes, there. Okay. Its acronym stands for Missing, Annoying, and Disappointing. But before I uh, proceed with the presentation, I would like to say thank you to Dr. Alicia Abalos, uh, my former principal and my fellow junior high school teachers. We have Mom Claire, Mom Janet, Mom Mika, Mom Excel, Mom Loling, Mom Elaine, Mom Eden, Mom Swetzel, Pastor Aris, and Mom Helen, and our students, of course, for allowing me to use the photos. Okay, ano po? Madaming salamat. Acronym stands for Missing, Annoying, and Disappointing. So, katanong dyan kung yang ginagamit uh, was it was it uh, used before yes of course this approach was used um is being used actually in the world of business or in education and other um, other sectors in our society if they want to understand the needs the wants and the problems of their clients so except education this um, approach can give an educator a deeper sense of thought 
okay, on why or why not a certain learner behaves in this or in that way. So why is there a system failure and efficiency? So this math approach is trying to assess the needs, the problems, okay, and that existing system. Okay, po. There. This poster was made by yourself. I mean, by yours truly. Um, this is the eye of an educator. So I think and I believe that we were born in born in this world with five senses, of course, including the sixth sense, which is the common sense. Um, with this, we're expected to be sensible enough. Um, in this time of pandemic, we tend to do a lot of things. That's true. And we do this with overwhelming reasons to do it. As Dr. Arnel Gonzola said last Thursday during our online discussion about this topic, um, according to him, people tend to be um, practicing multifactorial, meaning we have many reasons on what we do and why we do it. So tendency, we allow um, problems to succeed over what our students really need and their realities. Perhaps we are too excited or we are dazzled by the possible and result and result. And but unfortunately, we were able to we were not able to assess other areas before the implementation. Kumbaga, so, kailangan daw ng innovation, so ito ang gawin natin. So, ang tanong ba doon, hindi ba bang innovation ay kailangan talaga ng bata? Okay? May, may problems bang na-assess? Okay, those kinds of questions. So, if you ask me why is it being used, it's because Okay. Because the MADS basically we can help educators improve education by carefully understanding learners' problems and needs in a specific learning environment. So this requires the following characteristics. So be sensitive enough, be observant, be assertive, and be competent. And of course, you as a teacher, your, in, your in, um, initiative is a capsule of breakthroughs. Again, your idea is a formula for innovation, and your innovation is a dose for quality education. Um, because we need innovation, that's true, always. Uh, that despite the pandemic, we should not be um, stopped, okay? Or we should not stop from being um, able to express creativity and resourcefulness. Um, so lang bang na some teachers make innovation is because they want to get promoted. So, uh, impokrita siguro pala sa sabihin niyo sa akin na sino bang may ayaw ng promotion? Yes, of course, kailangan natin yun. Pero there should be um, a deeper sense of that innovation that you want this not for personal intentions alone, okay? We should make innovations okay, for the greater cause, okay? It's for our learners and the system. Okay, well, if you ask me, no ang possible procedures ng MADS? This approach includes nine steps. The first one is client identification. It's very important that you are able to identify first kung ano, kung sino ang makikinabang sa inyong gagawing innovation. Okay? Aside from that, kung nasaan sila ngayon. And that's the context or the environment. Okay. The second one. Let's documents. So I believe every institution has its own protocols. Okay. Maroon silang sariling um, ginagawang, uh, maroon silang sistema rather, na sinusunod bago sila makagawa ng innovation. So make sure that all the papers you needed, okay, ay ready na siya. Okay, let's begin with actual one. Missing. Ano ba yung missing? Okay? Answer is this question. What do they think is missing in the system? May I just set an example? In the junior high school department of, the, of Wesleyan University, Philippines, Aurora Campus, during the first and second quarter, we, uh, we, we are constantly receiving feedbacks from our students saying, Sir, ang boring na po. Puro na tayo module, blah, blah, blah. Sir, namimiss na po namin yung sumasayaw kami, yung nagsusulat kami ng contest piece, blah, blah, blah. So they are referring to the school activities na ginagawa 
before the pandemic school year, the start of the pandemic school year. So for this math approach, the first, um, the, the initial, the initial na part nung approach ninyo ay, hanapin mo kung ano yung missing. Anong para sa kanila yung mga bagay na nawawala sa sistema na meron sila ngayon? That's missing. Paano naman yun? That's annoying. Ang tanong dyan, what existing part of the system irritates them? Say, for example, we are referring to the school activities, school programs, okay? Noong time ng pandemic, okay? Or noong past na um, school year. Ano yung mga bagay na pag nag-conduct kayo ng events ninyo sa school, ano yung nakakairita para sa kanila? Okay, let's find out later kung ano yung mga pwedeng lumabas. Disappointing. Ano naman itong part na ito na ginagawa pa rin paulit-ulit eh alam na nga, alam na, nga na it disappoints the learners. Okay? Ito, concentrate natin yung yung uh, mind natin for um, steps 3, 4 and 5. Ito yung context natin. We have our learners during the pandemic. Another environment is during the past years you have your activities. And then this year nawala siya. So sa missing, ang tinatanong natin dyan, ano sa tangin nila yung nawawala? Namimiss nila? Ay, they're longing for this. Okay, they want this. Na sana mangyari. And then for annoying, okay, ano ang meron doon sa current system ninyo? Do they think na nakakailita pa sa kanila? Okay? Say, um, si teacher ba ay namimilit ng contestant? o isa lang ang contestant na gusto niya, that's a possible one kasi nag pa mag-exist yun. And then sa disappointing nila, ayan, meron bang mga pamamaraan ang system na yon sa activities na para sa kanila ay hindi nakakasatisfy, nakakasawa po ulit-ulit. Okay? Those are three great parts of this procedure. Okay? Missing, annoying, and disappointing. Kung maanim ay, after mong magather ito lahat, number three, four, five, from your um, clients or your students, you have to um, consolidate everything. Kunin mo lahat. Say, for example, there are, there are 300 um, students, um, and then, kunin mo lahat yung missing, ilista ninyo, kunin mo lahat ng annoying, ilista ninyo, disappointing, kunin din po ninyo. Okay? And then, number seven, you have analyzed now. Alin dun sa mga 300 responses nyo from missing ang pinaka o oh, madalas na sinasagot? Alin dun naman ang madalas isagot pero hindi naman relevant? So kunin nyo yung relevant. Alin dun ang pinaka prominent ang sagot under sa missing? And the same process with kung ano ang meron kay annoying na prominent or frequent answer and then the same as to kay disappointing. Okay po? It is, we have now this part have to conceptualize. Okay po? So, saan makagaling yung concept, yung concept ninyo for your innovation? Of course, base yan doon sa analysis nyo galing sa consolidate, consolidated responses ng missing, annoying, tsaka disappointing. So, ang tanong nyo dyan tapos sa sarili nyo ay pagkatapos niyo makuha lahat okay, ng responses for your, from your learners, tanong nyo, anong kayang activity ang pwede nating um, gawin para ma-address natin lahat ng needs and problems na nakuha natin through the mud. So, yun. Then last, that's the time now you have to craft the innovation. Gaya ng sabi ko, every institution has its own way okay, of crafting the innovation. Um, the DepEd, maybe um, meron silang sariling, ano, meron silang sariling paraan para gawa ng innovation. Um, private schools then as well, meron din sila. So, you should base your innovation or crafting your innovation based from your protocols. Okay? Um, make it sure na ito ay approvan at ito ay i-implement. Ulitin po natin yung, yung sham na procedures. The first one is client identification. Identify nyo muna kung sino ang makikinabang doon sa gusto nyong gawing innovation. And then, doon sa client identification, that ma-identify din nyo kung anong specific area ang pwede ninyong aralin. Pwede sigurong canteen services, library services, okay? um, pwede din sigurong classroom instructions, 
Okay, pwede rin siguro na yung time ng pandemic, yung paraan ng pagkuha at pagbalik ng modules, okay, kung paano mapapasilitate ng mabuti ng mga teachers ang um, learning environment nila. And then, paano, paano rin pag sa part ng stakeholders nyo like the teachers, okay, or pwede rin yung services ninyo na in some schools yata yung pag-deliver ng mga learning materials from one from the school gamit ang mga tricycle ang mga toda pwede lang yung aralin niyo yun. but those are possible client identification um indicators and then pangalawa sa documents you have to prepare everything okay pati and permission kung, kung kailangan okay po and then ito yung pinakamahalaga sa number 3 4 and 5 ito yung uh, magdidikta okay ng problems and needs na i-address ng innovation niyo sa missing ito yung sa tingin na nawawala no, nawawala na. Ano yung, ano yung current na ginagawa ng system ninyo na nakakairita para sa kanila? Okay po? And disappointing, ito naman yung mga bagay na paulit-ulit na lang nakakasawa na. Okay, so they want something new. And then number six, gather everything. Lahat na lang data. Okay, data, data ng MADS. And then sa number seven, ito na yung you have to pick very, um, very carefully kung alin talaga yung pinaka, pinaka, Okay, kailangan at problema ang i-address mo. And then for conceptualize, that's the time that you ask yourself, that you ask yourself, ano kaya ang activity ang pwede natin gawin para ma-address natin ito, itong laman ni Mads. Okay? So after mag-conceptualize, you have to craft your innovation. Kaya sabi ko, you have your own processes in your own schools. Okay? You have your own protocols para ma-craft yung innovation. So these are the procedures. Okay. Ang tanong, ito bang procedure na to ay talaga bang pwedeng gawin? Okay? And of, of course, the answer is yes. So, and ito ang lumabas sa aming uh, pananaliksik. Ano po? Ito ang lumabas. Part ng client identification, identify namin na kailangan namin i-address ay ang aming mga estudyante sa junior high school. Okay? Um, it has something to do about sa learning environment. It has something to do about the continuity of education and paralysis of face-to-face -face mode of learning delivery along with or along the co-curricular activities. Okay po? Yan po ang nakita namin sa client identification. The documents, okay, um, the teachers, ask permission from our department head, our principal, and we have prepared all the questions and other notes pwede namin gamitin during the process. And we also used here data um, coming from the quarterly home visitation scheme of the department. Ayan, those are for the documents. Then, ito lumabas. This, summary lang po ito, ano po? Ang uno dyan, sabi nila, na-miss na nila ang school contest. Yung iba sabi nila, na-miss nilang sumayaw, umanta, mag-drawing, blah, blah, blah. Okay? Then, sa ngatlo, um, the activities daw, um, na-miss daw nila activities where, can, where they can show their talents. Okay po? Pang-apat, sabi po nila, they missed non-academic collaboration with their classmates and friends. Pang-lima, sabi nila, na-miss daw nila yung teachers nila maliban sa pagka-miss nila. Okay? Um, kasi siyempre, lagi sila nakikita ng teachers online na lang. Ayan. So, mostly, wala pang ganap na extracurricular, kundi puro academic. So, yun ang isa sa mga namiss nila. Pero pagdating sa um, number four, which is, ang sagot nila ay, sabi nila, yung school naman siguro ay pwedeng gumawa ng mga activities for students na pwedeng i-cater. Okay ng school. Pero unfortunately, dun, during the first quarter ng uh, um, 2020, 2021, during start ng uh, ano natin, pandemic school year, sinasabi nila, hindi na i-cater na school. Okay, hindi po. If that the school, the department. And then sabi pa nila, most of the time daw, the teachers select the contestants daw for each contest area. Um, but students naman daw, which is true, can actually volunteer kung gusto nilang sumali. And then sabi pa na sa annoying, um, some activities only involve those from modules. So, may pa konting umay. Ano po? Those are parts of the annoying. 
Ano daw po sa discount? It just is with practice kasi na sa face-to-face lang naman. Messenger. Doon lang naman tayo pwede magpag-communicate. Sabi nila, pwede naman daw in greater platforms. I was not able to enumerate it, pero sabi nila doon you can have with Facebook, ganyan, advertisement nila. And then, the second disappointing is the features promote caring good, uh, promoting, wait, mali na ito. The teachers promote um, um, mental health. Okay, taking good care of mental health. But lesser they know that activities can also cure. Okay? Then, sabi nila, ang monotonous na daw. Ulit-ulit ang ginagawa. Weekly may ginagawa, pero puro module, puro module, puro module. Puro yung academic daw po siya. And yung pang-apat na disappointing sa niya dito, yung availability of resources for learning and activities. Meron daw po silang gayitong klaseng mga resources. They have uh, gadgets, okay? they have the art materials, okay? and basically they have the um, talents. Pero hindi na ma-maximize. Ano po? Oh, that, those are disappointing things. So upon consolidation, nakinuha namin lahat na ng records or ang aming uh, data, and then this analysis. Okay. We have distinguished um, yung, yung, yung nangyayari sa system namin ngayon na puro academic at yun na lang ang ginagawa ng bata. It boiled down to one idea. Yes. Ano kaya kung, okay, ito na nang, yung aming naging, naging concept, what if the department creates an academic-related activity for the learners to express their full self through arts as a way to break the assumed monotony and facilitate holistic development among them? Okay? So, ito na po yung aming nagawa. We call it the lens and letters. This is, uh, it has a tagline, creating optimism in a new normal. So this is basically a visual and literary arts competition. Um, make it sure po, make it sure now, when you make an innovation, hindi lang dapat siya nag-pop out lang sa isip mo, pack instant, ito ang gagawin ko, agad-agad. Pakakontest ako. Ang tanong, eh para saan yun? Sino makikinabang? Kung gagawin ba nila, anong makukuha nila? So therefore, yung objectives dapat ng inyong innovation ay naka-align mismo doon sa needs and problems na ina-address na inyong um, MADS. Okay? So makikipapapansin nyo dito, sabi niya dito, gusto i-address ng lens and letters yung problems okay? and the co-curricular needs of our learners. And then, it also permits learners participation okay? sa contest na may kinalaman sa pag-promote ng values, pag-express um, ng creativity, at para ma-maximize din yung kanilang mga available resources. Okay? And then, you can also apply their, whatever their academic learning, okay, so from their subjects, of course, into practice. Okay po? And then, yan, most especially then, um, there's a collaboration um, among the learner, learners, the teachers, and the parents as well. Okay, so maraming salamat then for allowing me to share this um, innovation here in the um, free webinar. Dr. Estrella Sebeda Ventura, I ask permission, of course, bago ako um, sumalang at i-prepare ito. Um, Dr. Estrella Sebeda Ventura is our head um, academic affairs in Wesleyan, Aurora Campus, for approving this innovation. Okay, for without her approving this, um, it will not be um, a success. Okay? Kung nanonin ninyo, um, ito bang innovation na to ay nangyari po ba talaga siya? Okay? Of course, nangyari po siya. Kapag natuwan, ayan. Okay, ito kami ng guidelines namin, ng mga mechanics namin. Ito. Basta, basta, or basically, for that certain innovation. Hmm? Okay. In summary, so in summary, system check in this context means all the undertakings of a school, um, may it be in sports or events or any events inspired by the subject offerings, your canteen, your library, guidance services, almost everything.
okay in the context of education everything is done for our clients and we cannot deny the fact kayo po um though we have full trust with the facilitators and the goals of the program but the question is do they satisfy the clients ito yon minsan takot tayong maggawa ng innovation it's because Ah, baka ma-offend natin yung existing system natin or baka ma-offend natin yung um, chairperson ng existing system. No, that should not be the mentality. We create innovations because we want change. And of course, we want to satisfy our clients by all means possible. Okay, that's the system check. Next, client tech. Uh, this is the time that you have to check your clients using the missing, annoying, and the disappointing approach. Okay? Gather all the details accordingly, and then you have to consolidate, you have to summarize, and squeeze the most prominent and relevant and frequent answers coming from your clients. That will dictate the real needs okay, and the real problem by um, checking your clients. The third is this you have to objectively ideate, okay? Out of the most prom prominent or relevant and frequent answers, you have, um, you have to um, conceptualize, okay? You have to conceptualize an, an activity, a remedy or a solution to the existing problems, but make it sure that you have the objectives. The objectives must address the actual needs and the realities of the clients. Do not consider your personal intentions Kaya nang sabi ko, wag tayong selfish. Ginawa mo ito para lang sa sarili mong legacy. Okay? Pag lo gusto mo promote, ang selfish naman po. Ano po? So you have to think outside the box. Outside the box. The end goal must benefit more those clients okay, than you. Po. The end goal must benefit more those clients than you. So for the innovation, all of which, um, in the right process or based from the protocols you have in your respective institutions, um, all of this will justify an innovation. Sabi nila, gawa tayo ng, gawa tayo ng activity sa school, then para saan nga ba talaga? So whereas if you have this mad approach, ano po, if you have this mad approach, if we have this mad approach, meron kang rason, kasi meron kang background, meron kang proof na ito talaga ay kailangan at hindi lang yun, para lang masabi na may innovation ka. Okay? This is your advantage. Kasi you will not be diving right into something without making some checks. Okay po? You have the details for a good background for a proposal. You have a great justification for the goals. You will be able to document everything. You will be able to assess the impact of the innovation and you will have time to improve the areas of concerns. So isn't it isn't it good that you and with mad approach you're able to empower an individual or a team to design product products, to design services, systems, and experiences that addresses the core needs of those who experience a problem. Okay. Being said, my friends, my fellow educators, um, I would like to leave a quote for everybody. It says here, while is it always true that challenges in the learning environment exist, then it is but natural, of course. However, problems will remain problems without thinking solutions outside the box. If you have done nothing to it, then you are probably a problem. But just a reminder, my fellow educators, it is really impossible for us naman, to satisfy all the principles in the learning environment but you can actually generate fundamental individual or collaborative senses. And it is true that gaps in the quality of the learning delivery system are evident. There are gaps, that's true. But these are the main indicators for the realization of an innovative learning environment. Once again, I am Fernando Pili Jr. Thank you so much for listening and participating in this free webinar. May you all find your worth and be prime movers for change and innovations. Agyamanak up. Thank you so much. I am na mine. So inspiring at napaka napaka um um fulfilling yung kanyang um 
uh, kanyang discussion. Napakaraming aral ang, nakik- ang makikita po sa mind. Ayan. Um, before uh, we go further, um, let me read first some congratulations. I'm sorry, um, let me read first some congratulatory uh, messages coming from our participants to our dear um, speaker, uh, Sir Fernando B. Pili from Ma'am Josephine Shoko. The topic is timely and relevant. Kudos apayati. Thank you so much for the learning. Re-innovation. Great sharing, Sir Fern. Congratulations, May as the proponent of MAD approach. I am. Um... Let me start by reading um, or inviting some of our uh, participants for the question and answer portion. Ayan, palapakan po muna muli natin ang ating speaker, Sir Fern Pili. Ay, tapos na. Ayan. Uh, Sir Luther Castillo, would you like to unmute and um, state your question to Sir Pili directly? Hello, sir. Good afternoon. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Sure po. Good afternoon po. Hello, sir. Good afternoon, sir. I am just only uh, I am just only thinking of an innovation in the aspect of extension activities because uh, based from your discussion, this is more on uh, school uh, affairs, the, the curriculum or uh, talks about the curriculum, the uh, satisfaction of the students to uh, teachers' uh, competence and so on and so forth. And uh, this is really a nice approach to conduct uh, research. And I want to ask if uh, this MAD approach is uh, applicable for uh, community research to uh, as basis for uh, community and extension activities. Okay, sir. Thank you, sir. Luther. Um, Actually po, this MAD approach, if I'm not, if I'm not mistaken, ano po, though Dr. Aaron Palaleo is using this in his company, um, this is, I think, his initial action for um, um, understanding the clients. This MAD is similar to um, one approach, I, uh, a framework actually. This is called MADI. Um, it has the same name, the missing, annoying, disappointing, and the irritating. It has five um five parts this madi has five parts so i i can recommend this approach in um making a research um this is this is will fall under a qualitative research approach sir um actually i, I want to use this actually ano nak medyo nakaplano na siya i want to i want to assess some um, um ambulant vendors who were affected by the pandemic in our in maria aurora using this mad approach actually so I can I can say that this one can be used as a framework or an approach for a research. Kasi wala naman siyang exemption, di ba? As long as your um is involving clients, people, so you can really use this kind of approach, sir. Okay. This is client the base ano po baga? Ah okay, sir. Sir, sir, who is the proponent of this uh, mad approach again or uh, what are the theoretical bases for this? to be consider, considered as a framework for a research endeavor or research undertaking? I mentioned Dr. Padaleo because he was the one who introduced this um, approach in our class. But um, regarding the real proponent of this um, MAD approach, I-, I was not able to identify who he was. But you can refer, sir, to MADI approach. I think there is a certain person who proposed this. And this is very similar to this one. Um, the MADI approach is more um, detailed than the MAD approach we adopted. The MADI approach. Okay. MADI approach, M-A-D-I, sir? M-A-D-I. Yes, po. Missing, annoying, oh, yes. disappointing, and irritating. Okay, MADI. This is, a, this is very useful. This is a very useful framework. That is why I asked because I am uh, at the... Uh, a research undertaking targeting extension activity as of the moment and i am experiencing a dilemma on what framework to use and this is already this is timely actually that uh, i have attended the seminar and this is very useful thank you sir thank you okay i'm um, sorry luther you might as well like to consider um, when you conduct this that when you have your analysis um, it would be better if it's not only you um, baka mag-reflect na medyo bias yung result kasi isa lang ang nag-analyze. 
I, I suggest if you want to uh, have to have some collaboration with your co-teachers. Sir Luther Castillo, are you, are you from Biscaya? Biscaya. Yes, sir. Yes. St. Louis? Oh, yes, a public. Uh, I am already at uh, Ifugao State University. Oh, okay, okay, sir. Okay. I, I, I think uh, I know you, sir. I know that actually, sir, Eldridge Cortado introduced uh, the webinar to me. Oh, thank you, sir. Thank you. Thank you, thank sir, you. Luther. Thank you so much, sir, Luther, for that um, wonderful question and sharing. Ayan, taga-biskaya po pala siya. And um, let me read some congratulatory, uh, congratulatory uh, message here from coming over from YouTube um, YouTube uh, viewer coming from Maria Rochelle Descargar. Thank you for the very informative discussion, sir. Very timely and really helps teachers to innovate new concepts in teaching amid pandemic crisis. And thank you so much po, Ma'am Russell. Congratulations, sir, uh, sir and firm. Let me, of course, read another question coming from a YouTube viewer again. Coming from Sir Ranulfo Visaya. I believe this is the one who asked me the, uh, last time as well. Hello po, Dr. Ranulfo Visaya. How would you consider if ever there are some skeptical colleagues who have... Um, lukewarm regard and constantly question the motives or aims behind the initiative. Um, let me uh, repeat the question, uh, Sir Pili. Um, since this is, of course, um, qualitative kasi ang approach mo, ayan, so uh, I'll go with uh, the idea of Sir Visaya. How would you consider now if ever there are some skeptical colleagues who have lukewarm regard and constantly question the motives or aims behind our initiative to do such in or research for that matter. Go ahead, Sir Pili. Okay, sir. Thank you so much. Oh, yeah. Medyo mahirap na sitwasyon, ano po. So, what if? May, merong kontra, merong, merong hindi isang ayon sa ginagawa ninyo. Um, in this case po, um, as per experience, we have mutual understanding in our department in the junior high school before uh, at last school year, we have this mutual understanding that we always want to give the best for our learners. And we won't we, we won't allow that every week we receive same same questions, same uh, complaints, okay, same requests or same feedbacks from time to time. And we don't want that. Because there is still there are still um feedback such as those, those are missing or those are annoying or those are disappointing feedbacks from our learners. It means that there is something wrong, okay? There is something wrong. So we have to do about that. This is our responsibility as teachers or as, edu as educators to not only deliver what, what our school uh, intends to do, to deliver the um, academic part, okay? The, the academic uh, counterpart of teachers. But it is also our part to holistically develop our learners. And one way for us to do it is to make some innovations. And in the case of those people or those colleagues who remain lukewarm, okay, say hesitant, I think there is a room for trying to convince them. Okay? Ilatag natin mabuti ng objectives nito. Okay? Ewan ko kung meron, meron bang mga teachers na nabubulag-bulagan, nagbibingi-bingihan. So there is something there, there is something wrong with them. Okay? I think, takas ako sabihin, de sila pwede talaga dito sa academe kung ganun po ang kanilang mentality. So yun lang po, sir, ang masasabi ko. Medyo effective yung aking ang sagot doon sa tanong ninyo. But I think, kung lahat ng bagay ay malinaw para sa lahat, na ito ang kailangan gawin, ito ang responsibility ko, ito ang role ko, at para hindi ako mabrandan na irresponsible, negligent na isang teacher. Okay? So, unless gusto nilang ganong klase ng teacher, ganun ang brand nila. Ito. Yun Thank po. you so much, sir. Friend. Let me just add, of course, sa inyong sagot. Kasi I, I am also uh, one of the initiators of research in our school um, and innovation as well. Um, gumagawa po ako yearly ng action research and basic research for the good of our school, not only um, for our um, students. Um, we make sure, of course, that this specific activity are not for our promotion, sabi nga ni Sir Pili. So 
the uh, the um, the purpose of doing um, some things should be focused not really on um, having having been prom uh, to be promoted as well, uh, but for the good of our students. Thank you so much, sir, uh, sir Fern. Let me, of course, uh, read again another congratulatory um, messages coming from our participants. Sir, uh, sir Fern, congrats, Sir Fern. From, from Karen Joy Malawis, from um, Tabael. Congratulations, sir. Great and timely. From Marisa Brizola of the Vizcaya Comprehensive High School. Thank you, Sir Fern, for very insightful sharing. Indeed, teachers need to be creative in the delivery of instruction by creating balance between curricular and extracurricular activities to address not only the cognitive needs, but also the social emotional needs in distance education setup. Thank you so much, Ma'am Marisa. Um, I actually asked um, Dr. Raquel if I may also um, um, throw my question to you, Sir Fern. I, I only have one uh, question, um, specifically focusing on the um, intervention or the innovation that you have made out of the MAD, right? Um, from that poster, um, I it seems that you only have catered those that are actually inclined into journalism or language. How about those who, um, who cannot do those particular activities? Sir, may putul, 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 ah, putul, putul. <clears throat> I'm sorry. Um, in in your innovation, sir, I I observe or it seems that the innovation is only catering students who are excelling in language, specifically in writing, in poetry, and so forth. How about those who cannot do these activities? Okay, sir. Thank you for the question. Actually, this list lens and letters. Um. Nakulangan lang kami ng time kasi talaga for, for the volume 2 and volume 3. Um, ang nakater po namin for the Lens and Letters volume 1 ay computer, mape, language, ESP, and um, ESP. Yun po yung nai-integrate nai, nai, nai namin na, na subjects for that. Pero sa volume 2, nakisked na po ang other students. And ito po yung policy ng aming uh, Lens and Letters that if you already participated and you have won, and for the volume one, so that's the time na yung, that's the time na yung, yung iba naman ang for volume, volumes two and um, volumes number three. And we are very fortunate, sir, that we have, okay, almost half of the students who were able to participate in this um, event that we have. So, speaking of, tama nga, tinanong mo sa akin kung, um, talang tinanong mo sa akin kung paano naman yung iba na, De, walang kakayahan sa ganito, walang kakayahan sa ganyan. So, I think uh, kung ganun po ang case for, for your respective institutions, you can still have another set of innovation um, benchmarking from the MADS results. Okay po. Pwede ko ulit kayong gumawa po ulit ng another innovation, which can cater not only those who are inclined with photography, those who are inclined mm -hmm. with writing stories, writing, writing poems, okay, or painting or drawing, okay? Lahat po na pwedeng i-cater. Yes, sir. Sir, you need Kudos, sir, firm. Palakpakan po natin muli ang napakatalino at napaka-pogi na speaker natin for this afternoon, sir. Fernando B. Pili of Solano, Nueva Vizcaya, but now um, based in Wesleyan University, Aurora Campus. Maraming maramas, maraming maraming salamat, Sir Fern. How I wish um, magkasama ulit tayo sa susunod na research conference. <laughs> right? So let's award our certificate of recognition to uh, Sir Pili. Um, hindi ko na po babasahin yung ibang mga congratulatory uh, messages po. Ang dami-dami po nila, Sir Fern. Overwhelming po talaga ang pasasalamat nila sa inyo sa pagbibigay mo ng idea at um, knowledge to innovate in this um, trying, hard, trying times of pandemic. Thank you so much again. So let me read. Um, the recognition for our resource speaker, Asia Pacific Association of Educators Training Institute, awards the certificate of recognition to 
Fernando Balatok Tilly Jr. for his significant contribution as resource speaker during the free webinar session on school best practices entitled The MADS, an approach in understanding the learning environment for innovations in the new norm organized by APFU, given this fourth day of September 2021 via Zoom meeting. Signed, Dr. Arnel He Genzola, Director of Professional Development, and Dr. Ibn Lawrence P. Carbajal, Director of Research and Publication, and of course, Dr. Raquel P. Bernabe, President and CEO of APIA Team. Congratulations, Doc, um, Fernando B. Pili Jr. Thank you so much, sir. At this juncture, we shall now be updated by several activities of our very esteemed organization, APIA Team. Let's start with Dr. Adrian Lawrence Carbajal, Director of Research and Publication, Asia Pacific Association, Association of Educators Training Institute. Go ahead, Dr. Adrian. Okay, so Adrian. let's let's probably have Doc Kel uh, before we call Doc Adrian. Okay, can you please take it away, Ma'am Evelyn Pidot? All right. May we have our update updates coming from our president and CEO, Dr. Raquel D. Bernabe. Um, hello, po. Through the permission of Dr. Raquel, I will do her part. Po. A glorious day, everyone. Attention to fellow educators. Welcome to APAYA T. Here's the benefits of being a member. But before that, let me first uh, thank Dr. Raquel for giving me this opportunity and for Dr. Arnel Ganzula for giving us the guidance and accommodating us in every question or in, in every uh queries that we ask her, ask him rather. So here's the benefits. Hello, Pa. Do you hear me? So here's the benefits of being a member of APIETI. First, I am recommending you all who participated in this webinar session to apply as a member or affiliate to APIETI. We welcome every educator in one of the most prominent associations in, in the country and in international who caters the needs of all educators to be trained well, to be more efficient and effective in the academy. So I would like to introduce you the publication of APAETI, the Young Asia Educators Pulse magazine. So, and the Inter International Journal in Advanced Studies. So anyone can uh, can uh, have the this ano po this uh, publication para makapag-publish na po kayo ng inyong researches, uh, articles, stories and the like. Also the Global Peer Reviewed Journal. So tatlo po ang ating publication dito sa um APAETI. So pakipasadahan or pakitignan po natin sa ating APAETI uh, Facebook or page po. And about naman po dito sa pagsasendan, so may, ipupo, uh, may isasend po akong link later dito sa chat po about the uh, publishing houses ng ating, uh, ng ating APAETI or ng ating association. Another is, I would like to promote you the self-paced national qualifying exam for principal review. Sino pong nagnanais na maging principal in the future? So you are, uh, you, you can... Hello po. Kindly, kindly mute po yung mic ninyo. Thank you. So, you can register po dito sa APAETI din kasi uh, Madam, ay Dr. Raquel organize, uh, organize a team para dito sa review center ng ating APAETI. And another is the um, International Educators and Researchers Summit. So ito na po yung ito na po yung pang next week po natin. So we are encouraging all the uh APAETI members or applicant to be an affiliate pa para sumali dito. Para sa ating ay para sumali dito sa different activities ng 
ating uh, association. So for the International Educators and Researchers Summit, this is uh, for the members of APAET. Po. Makikita po natin dyan sa Facebook uh, or page ng ating uh, association. Another is the International Seminar on Teaching Pedagogical Approach in Mathematics, Science, English, Filipino, Araling Panlipunan, MAPE, Mother Tongue, SPED, and All Learning Areas on September 25 to 27 po. Pagkakataon na rin po natin ito, baka gusto po nating mag-demo. Okay, another is the fifth, uh, 15th APAETI International Multidisciplinary Research Conference. So, what are you waiting for, Par dear participants? Be a member now and get the privilege of every opportunities na, na binibigay po ng APAETI. So, thank you, sir. Back to you, sir, Nick Rojas. Thank you so much, Ma'am Evelyn. Ayan naman po, nilatag na po ni Apa Eti lahat po ng napakagandang plano para sa ating mga educators. Um, we also have um, non-educators sectors. Um, we also cater, uh, catering um, public um, servants as well aside from um, the educators. And aside from us giving opportunities to publish our uh, journal or our research manuscripts, we are also given the opportunity to speak before you guys, like us, sa aming pong team na apat, uh, pangalawang uh, session na po namin ito, ito po talaga ay napakalaking tulong sa amin. Maraming maraming salamat, Ape Eti. Dr. Arnel, thank you so much again sa um, constant na pagbibigay uh, ng payo po sa inyong mga member affiliate. Thank you so much. We moved um, to our um, closing remarks as well as, of course, um, karagdagang updates coming from one of the brightest um, educators I have met in my entire life, Dr. Arnel E. Genzola, the Director for Professional Development of APRETI. Of course, EFL program or head, pro head or and director of Jilin University Lamdong College in China. Go ahead, po, Dr. Arnel Gonzola. All right. Thank you very much, uh, Sir Nick. Uh, that's very kind of you. To our ever dynamic president, Dr. Raquel Bernabe, um, our CEO president of APA EDI, our APA EDI director for research and publication, Dr. Adrian Lawrence P. Carvajal, who is also the dean of the Institute of Graduate Studies at San Sebastian College of Recoletas in Manila. To all our Zoom participants and those watching us live on YouTube, um, to all Baxter teachers, head teachers, principals, college instructors, professors, fellow educators, and I think even president of colleges and universities who joined us today. So good afternoon and thank you very much for your support. On behalf of the Asia Pacific Association of Educators Training Institute or APAIDI, we would like to thank everyone, especially our speaker today, Sir Fern. Thank you very much. Our moderator, Sir Nick, our layout artist, Ma'am Evelyn, our information officer, Ma'am Veronica. We truly appreciate the work that you do in putting all of these things together so we can deliver this free webinar session and wholeheartedly serve our fellow educators in the country and abroad amid the global health crisis. So great thanks as well to all of our dear participants on Zoom and those watching us live again on Facebook and YouTube for your support to our free webinar series. We thank you all for your active participation in Zoom and YouTube interacting with our resource speakers today, the members of the team presenting to you the free webinar series this afternoon. We would love to see more of you taking part in our series. Uh, fellow educators, our free webinar series again is held every Saturday, so it is for sure that we will learn more from our succeeding sessions. I really hope that a topic inspired you to innovate and as you innovate for you to consider not only the benefits or advantages of that innovation, but also to look through the realities of the students, the programs of the school, the learning environment, the issues and concerns that need to be addressed to ensure that you arrive at where you want to take your students to. Okay, as shared by Sir Fern today, the MADS approach will assist you address these areas and it will also help you assess and evaluate the activities so you'll be able to see what worked and did not work. And of course, what needs improvement. 
So fellow educators, may we all persist in trying out and exploring opportunities and possibilities that might be of great use to teach in the COVID era of digital learning. So we hope to have you join us again, not, not only as participants, but hopefully as part of the APA IRI. So you too will have an opportunity to be one of our future resource persons. So thank you very much. And again, um, in addition to the updates provided today, we would like to invite you to nominate and participate in the upcoming 2021 search for the Golden Global Researchers and Educators Guilds Award of APA IRI. It's going to be this month, so if you still want to be part of it. So get in touch with us on our Facebook page, our YouTube channel for, for more information, and we will be able to get back to you to assess and evaluate your short bio note that you will be submitting to us, the credentials we will be asking you to provide to us, and we will, we, we will be scheduling. Okay, the, the panel interview with you, and we will see how things will go with that, okay, as we assess and hopefully qualify you for the upcoming awarding ceremony to recognize outstanding individuals across different fields for the 2021 Grega spearheaded by Yapa Iri. Okay, so fellow educators, stay safe, and God bless everyone. Thank you very much. Okay, Sir Nick, back to you. Thank you so much, Dr. Arnell. Again, um, we would like to invite everyone uh, to our fourth session of our Appiative Free Webinar Series on Saturday, September 10th. To give us our, our closing prayer, one of our newbies in the Appiative, the very beautiful Ate of Mom Evelyn, Madam Evangeline Pena Lumaser, Teacher of Bonfal National School, High School, Boyombong, Nueva Vizcaya. Let us all pray. Heavenly Father, as we come to the end of this third session free webinar, we thank you for the time you have given us. We thank you for the chance to acquire knowledge, great ideas about innovation from our speaker. May the topic discussed serve as the catalyst to move us forward and see growth in our life as teachers, especially for the betterment of our dear learners, even in this time of pandemic. Help us how to carry this new knowledge and experiences in our mind and put it in action. We thank you for your guidance to fulfill our agenda in this webinar. Lord, May you bless all the whole of Thai tea through the leadership of Dr. Raquel. May you also bless us all. Protect us together with our families with your holy will. This we ask in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. 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 Thank you so much. Again, sa ating pong mga... Um, Dinigiliw, nagkaguruhan sa entire Philippines. Maraming, maraming, maraming salamat po. Diyos de Agnina, Diyos Magbalat, si Patam Aminan. Kudos po, um, Apa Eti, for this wonderful event. Mari na po tayo ang, uh, kung pwede po, um, mag-open po tayo ng ating camera para po sa ating um, photo op. Yan, para makapag- uh, Picture naman po tayo sa ating um, resource speaker and of course um, our top officers of API Ati. May we request lahat po, paki-open yung cam. Sir Peterson, Madam Christelle, Ma'am Rochelle, Ma'am Karen. Yan, salamat Ma'am Rochelle. Oh, Sir John Mark, paki-open din po. Ma'am Jackie Derrit or Sir Jackie Derrit ba to? Paki-open po, Ma'am Joy Lagbon. Para lahat po tayo is uh, makita dito sa ating um, photo. Oops, sige na po. Ma'am Josephine. Ma'am Clarissa. Ma'am Loida. Ayan. We are your best smile po. Hindi halatang hindi nakaligo, sabi ni Sir. Sige po, okay lang po. Ma'am Juliet Bitumpalan. Ma'am Janet Bibat. 
Ma'am Eugene, ay Sir Eugene, Ma'am Marisa Emperia, pati open po. Ayan. Ma'am Emily Lagwata, pati open po. Ayan, thank you, Ma'am. Ma'am Esther Arcap din, my co-teacher po, pati open, Ma'am. Ma'am Rika Joy Arles, Ma'am. Ma'am Sweet Cell Squadro. Ma'am Olnes, Ma'am Maria Suset. Ayan. Okay na po, Miss, sir. Let's wait po for the, ano, I'm actually um, sending the link for our evaluation in the chat ah, box. Okay, sir. Ayan, Ayan while, po, we sir. Are, while we are waiting for the link po, please pakiopen yung cam, mga madam and sir, na nagwagapuhan. Again, may we request our new participants to please share our, um, the live stream in our YouTube. At the same time, take photos of you. Um, or, 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 share the selfie while you are viewing our session for this afternoon. Para po 100% assured tayo na makakatanggap po tayo ng certificate of participation for today's session. Thank you so much. <laughs> Okay, na sir Nick. Ma'am Lloyd, open po ang cam. May Ayun. 15 pa po na hindi naka-open, sir. Meron daw po hindi baka nakaka-open. Ah, okay po. Yan, welcome Amrika Joy. Be a member na po. To Ma'am Bernadette Kamba, welcome po. Ayan, open na ni Ma'am Bernadette. Be a member, Ma'am, not just a participant, be a member po. To Sir John Lee Baho. Yeah, no special mention po Ma'am Lloyd the Encagbay. Ayan si Madam Emerita, open na rin siya, sir. Be a member of or affiliate Ma'am ha. Okay po. I'll I'll send din ko na po mamaya, i-send po namin. Ma'am Bernadette Kamba. Ayan. Sir Peterson. Sir Erwin, open na rin po. Yan, lahat na po yata, sir. Again, we are recommending you, Akayeti, please be a member or be a member affiliate to our association and get a chance of the different privileges na pwede po natin makuha. Tama po si Ma'am Evelyn doon. Ay, may... Last time na nagtatanong kung gaano po ba ka-legit si Apeti. I am a living testimony. Oh, ayan. Uh, hindi ko po sasayangin ang oras ko o gugulong ko ng gawa po ng ganito o pag, pagsama po ng ganito ni Apeti kung hindi po siya legit. Ayan, again. Uh -huh. For us from the web of Vizcaya, are living legends of not, not legend, living proof that APET is really serving for the good of educators in the Philippines. Ayan. Kaya kung ako po sa inyo, what are you waiting for? Join us po. Um, the trust and team of APET. And we also... Uh, Acknowledge the different leaders from our SDO Nueva Vizcaya who joined us also. So what are you waiting for? Ulitin pa namin, be, an, a, a, be a member or affiliate of APAETI. Alright. Um, meron pa po pa tayong katanungan um, um, related po sa Ayan, kung meron po kayong gusto i-clarify tungkol po sa activity, how to join, how to be a member, and so forth and so forth. Pero kung hindi may hiya po kayo, you can just uh, chat us. Doon po sa mga taga Nueva Vizcaya po or region 2. You can just approach uh, us through our messenger. 
At kung kakilala mo rin po ang um, ilan sa mga APAT members in the National Capital Region, then just um, feel free to reach them. Tama. Okay. Um, let's call it a day. Thank you again. Ayan. Maraming maraming salamat.